pulling on a cigarette He's in the skies deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. Today we're doing a review of an e-juice called Lily's Lemonade. Woohoo! Lily's Lemonade. This has a uh, 30 PG to 70 VG ratio and it's got 3 milligram of nicotine by volume. There you go, you can see the whole thing. Uh, it's put out by Central Vapors whom I love. They've got great flavors. So this will be my first time trying Lily's Lemonade, so I'm kind of excited. Um, let's just dig right in. I'm going to be using for this uh, uh, review, I'm going to be using my HPRIV 220 watt by Smuck. There you go. Um, I've already put a little bit of e-juice in here simply so I could prime the wick and get that juice going in there and if you've seen any of my other videos then you'll know I say because I don't like that burnt dry taste I'm OCD with my coils so every time I put a different flavor in I clean it out I put a new coil in and the minute you dry fire right then that taste for some reason just lasts for the rest of ever until you change the coil and clean the tank again. Uh, I, I'm so bad about that that I keep the same flavors in the same tanks as you can see behind there. Um, so yeah, taking a few extra steps to reduce dry fire will protect your product and get you to enjoy your e-juice a whole lot more. Trust me, just trust me. I learned those things out long time ago the hard way. Anyway, so back to Lily's Lemonade, 30 PG, 70 VG uh, ratioed mix with 3 milligram nicotine by volume is my personal nicotine preference. All right, so let's get down in here. I love this because I have a, a topside fill for this one, so it makes things nice and easy. You can see that it's filling right up real quick. There we go. I love that. I love that. Plus, these bottles, I just love, instead of doing like the old school tinctures, they got that little pour, that little skinny pour spout that fits real great for topside uh, filling. All right, let's get that kicked into place. I'm going to take a, a few uh, draws to try to further pull that e-liquid out through the, uh, the wick and the coil. Uh, again, just a few extra steps. Eliminates a lot of headache on the back end. By the way, just a reminder, this is by Central Vapors. I will put the information for this e-juice along with the link directly to the product down below. Since I'm talking about down below, while you're there reading, would you kindly like and subscribe and tell your friends if you'd like to see more of these great reviews you can see in my banner there's my email address uh, i think my twitter's on there whatever if you want to send me a message something you want to see me review or do <clears throat> please by all means let me know mm. oh oh my well there's definitely something more <laughs> Then lemonade in there. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I can. I, I right off the bat, I can smell a little raspberry. All right. Let's see how good I am. Uh, you'll see me get my mouse and come up here on my computer. So let's look up the product because I smell something different. But I want a, a heads up on it. And, woohoo, pull that screen back up, and, man, all right, pomegranate, pomegranate, normally my palate, well then again I haven't tasted it quite yet, pomegranate. 
I will admit that pomegranate is not on my short list of favorite fruit tastes, but I am going to venture to say with this current citrus berry connection, it'll probably fit in there real nicely. Sometimes some flavors are like a carrier flavor, sort of like when you're in culinary, you have carrier oils. Uh, that means that they're there, there are certain ingredients that are best used by uh, some of the carrier ingredients that help boost or refine uh, taste. And I suspect, I suspect that that's probably going to be the case with this one. In any event, lemonade is right up there, and I like lemonade. Matter of fact, I like lemon in my iced tea. I like pink lemonade. I like, you could just go on with it. Alright, let's take a fire, make sure I'm on here. I'm going to put this to start at about 70 watts. Um, these tanks can go a little bit more. That doesn't mean you should do that. It is a 220 watt machine. Um, bing! I got a message. Um, that doesn't mean you should take it to the max. Uh, just because something says that they can do a certain wattage uh, if your coils don't match that, you should put it somewhere down in the sweet spot of the recommended settings. And I like to do that, especially up front when I'm getting to know a new flavor. Uh, when I say new flavor, I mean new flavor to me. Something that I have not tasted before. Um, here we go. Whoo! Oh, goodness gracious. Hmm. The uh, aftertaste, the little bit of residue in the oil from hitting your mouth, it uh, it definitely is packing an imami taste like. Your extra uh, perceptors, your taste, all that stuff. That's my strategy on my words. Don't make fun of me. Just knock it out right now. It's kind of got that, uh, it's bringing in that extra taste. And then if you know what a mommy is, it's like that extra sensory overload where it engages all, everything. A little hard to do when you don't have uh, eyesight on it. But the smell, ooh, it, it's fragrant, um, but not in a bad way. It's got a lovely balance on that. It really does. Sometimes when you put in like lemon citrus with anything on its own, um, it could be overpowering if it's not used judiciously. And by the same token, so can um, raspberry. Raspberry on its own can be quite strong. Uh, and then pomegranate, you know, if you were a drinker of like the ocean spray pomegranates and stuff like that, they can have like a nice tart and sweet kind of thing going on. Uh, I wouldn't originally think that maybe these three ingredients or taste would go together, but I might be wrong on that. Wow, I am pleasantly surprised on this. So, the lemon is not overpowering the berry, and the berry's not, like, punching back at the citrus. Uh, the pomegranate, as I thought, is a good carrier mixed flavor on here. Um, it, it, it's blended well, it really is blended well. Uh, I don't think you'd be upset with this or mad at this. Um, I would say go out and try it. If you love any of these flavors on their own, then I think you'll probably like uh, the whole thing together. Once again, it's put out by Central Vapors. Let me see if we can get it on screen for you there. Lily's Lemonade. And it is a, a 30 PG to 70 VG mix, uh, along with my personal preference on nicotine at 3 milligrams 
by volume. Um, folks, I'm going to put everything down below just like I said. Go on over there and take a look at what it has to uh, say in the description. Of course, I'm going to copy and paste that anyway in there with the link. Um, so please, by all means, like, subscribe. Keep on coming back. I really appreciate you. If you guys can help me to get to 1,000 followers on YouTube, I have several on Twitter and several on Facebook, but I'm trying to get YouTube up to 1,000 followers or more. And if you can do that, then I will do my first giveaway. And I will be happy to do so. So by all means, thank you very much. Keep coming back. Like and subscribe. And let's just get the heck on out of here in traditional Juicy Vapor style. Later. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.